hello guys welcome once again in the last three videos i have been showing you how to create a pdf file using your visual basic windows form application and a third party dll called itech sharp and in this video i'm going to continue with this itech sharp dll to create the table so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a table inside your pdf file and i think you will be familiar with this code because I've been writing this code in the last three videos so I'm go not going into details for this code and if you want you can just copy this code also and then in this code just go where I have declared pdf doc dot open and pdf doc dot close and inside this pdf dot doc dot open I'm going to write the code to create a table so this is the code to create a table I will explain this code line by line so first of all declare a variable called table which is a instance of PDF P table class which is from iTech shop and inside this bracket just give the number of columns you want in your table so this is the number of columns you want in your table right and in the second line i have declared a variable called cell as a new pdf p cell and inside uh, this argument i have passed a phrase so just write new phrase and give the heading of your PDF file table name so just this is the table header you are going to write okay so just write this line to give the header and now you will define how much columns it will contain so this is the column and this is the column span okay so this will decide after three columns or after three items of cell it is going to repeat on it is going to add a new row okay so just write cell dot columns call span is equal to three which is like this same as this right and now in the se uh, second line or in the next line you are going to define the alignment of your header file so just write cell dot horizontal alignment is equal to one and if you write here one your header will appear in the center of the header cell okay so these three lines i have i think you have understood so first line is to create the column or PDF table of column 3 and in the second line you are giving the header to your table and in the third line you which whatever cell you have created you are giving the span to your table header so because you have three column table so we are going to span, span your um, table header to the three cells okay so it will cover all the three columns and in the fourth line we are defining the alignment of the header so we want to show our header in the middle of your cell that's why I have written one if you write here zero in place of this it will be aligned left and if you write two in place of one here it will be a, the header will be aligned to the right okay now in the next line just copy this table variable and just add your cell which contains the header so just write table dot add cell and copy and paste this variable here now we are going to add rows to our table so because this is a three column table we are going to add two rows for example so just write table dot add cell 
column 1 row 1 so first cell will be column 1 row 1 second column will be column 2 row 2 and third cell will contain column 3 row 3 so for now for example i will delete this code which i have written below and i will run this code here and i will say create pdf and when my table is created it will look like this so column 1 row 1 column 2 row 1 and column 3 row 1 which is, which has this is row 1 and this is column 1 column 2 and column 3 and you can see here your header is header cell is has a span of three columns so it's stretched from here to here which covers one column one column two and column three that's why we have written column column span is equal to three for example i write column span is equal to two here so i will break my code and i will write column span not here but columns call span is equal to two and once again i will run my code here and create pdf file and i will open my pdf you see here your column or header will be spanned to two columns right and it's a hodgepodge it's created because it's thinking that this column will start from here column cells will start from here so generally whatever your column number is you assign the header size according to that right and once again i'm going to paste the second row code just add table once again table dot add cell column one row two and in the similar fashion we will write the column one two three and row two okay so this is the code to add table to your pdf file at last what you need to do is just add this uh, table to your document so just write pdf doc dot add table and this will add your table to your document right so this is the whole code to add table to your pdf file and finally when i run the program and i will say create pdf once again it will show the error because my pdf is already open once again i will create the pdf and once again if you see i have a header and i have two rows in a similar way you can add multiple rows to your pdf files so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now